Yes, my birthday is March 7th, but July 19th was the day I found out I was black. Before Whoa, Vicky would amass almost half a million Instagram followers before placing her account on private. I'm having Poppy JJ's babies. He's the baby daddy. I just don't know if they his because he a virgin. We have not had sex. I'm a virgin. I don't have sex. I will have sex with the, my wife when I'm married, okay? Before Whoa, Vicky would get into some serious online beef with Danielle Bergoli, aka Cash Me Outside, aka Bad Baby. Bad bitch, your city's fake as fuck, bitch. You can't. You, you wish you could say nigga like me, bitch, you can't. Bitch, I'm strapped, I'm from Zone 6. Before Rice would post the These Kids Must Be Stopped video targeting Whoa Vicky. She's the one claiming she's from the hood and black. There's something wrong with this girl. Whoa well, Vicky is currently working on a diss track aimed at Rice Gum that she plans on dropping via YouTube and SoundCloud. This is one of the many things I found out when I had a FaceTime call with Vicky. What's up, God? This Whoa well, Vicky, and this is mine before they was famous. I actually interviewed Whoa Vicky, and although she stuck to her story, like she's got a baby daddy named Pappy JJ who got her pregos, even though he's a virgin, and her other outlandish stories, well, it appears there are a few holes in Vicky's story. From what I can tell, she grew up a privileged girl in Atlanta suburb of Marietta and has been traveling the world on vacations like Turks and Caicos, the Dominican Republic, New York City, and LA as of recent. But the real question is, is Vicky actually black? Well, I asked her this and a whole bunch of other questions in our interview. Who do you look up to, Cardi B? Um, yeah, I like her. I like her either. I only really look up to people because uh, 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 I just look up to myself. Look up to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCrudden. Now if you want to check out the full half hour interview I had with Whoa Vicky, it's up on my second channel, McCrudden Entertainment. She actually seemed like a really sweet girl, especially when she takes the grill out of her mouth, but some of the remarks she's made on Instagram have brought her a lot of attention, both good and bad. I'm gonna try and set the facts straight in her before they're a famous story. You guys request this one. Be sure to give me a follow on Instagram and send me your future requests. You can also follow Whoa Vicky on Instagram and Twitter. A link is down below. Now let's get into this video. I'm not white. <laughs> I'm mixed. Yeah, she's Spanish and white. Whoa, well, Vicky was born Victoria Waldrip on March 7, 2000 in Atlanta, Georgia. She has a much older sister who has moved to New York City and isn't all that impressed with her younger sister's recent online antics. Now, if you're a fan of Whoa, well, Vicky's, you already know that she claims she's from Zone 6. You are not from Zone 6, my nigga. You are not. You from Buckhead, nigga. That's one of the richest part in Atlanta, bro. Get out of here, bro. She's super spoiled, bro. Like, her dad gives her a weekly salary, bro. Everything. Bro, on top of that, bro, she got a maid in her house, bro. But further digging has me pretty certain she's actually from Marietta, an hour northwest of Zone 6. How do I know this? Well, Victoria's father is the president of Marvin Waldrop Reality Company, and she even admitted it herself. He's a residential builder. Oh, cool. Her dad sounds like a total stud, a pillar of the community. He supports various local programs and is also pulling in some serious bank. He also appears to be very much a white man, but Victoria isn't so certain. Where does that, where does the ethnicity come from? Your mom's side, your dad's side? My dad's side. From your dad's side? So like, um, we, we found out, um, he didn't ever knew what he was mixed with, so he took the test and we found it out. But we don't know if his dad was fully black or mixed. You are not black, bro. I got video, I got footage of everything. Your mom, bro, I can expose so much videos of you, Vicky, bro. You're not black. Stop trying to be black, bro. Victoria's parents were never married and she grew up with her mother until she was eight years old. Vicky claims that this was a bad situation and an unhappy home. And due to her mother's drinking, she had to move in with her dad. Her mother, she states, is now out of the picture, and growing up, young Vicky stated that she got in a lot of trouble. In the eighth grade, she got into her first fight and was suspended from school for skipping classes and constant brawling. She didn't make friends easily with a lot of people, and they were always hating on her. No, everybody hated you. Everyone hated you? Yeah. Vicky has received a ton of questions about her accent, 
and she states that's just the way she talks. How about Dad? And this is just how I talk. Like I've been talking like this forever. Like this is just my voice, my accent. Now when I called her, I wasn't expecting her to sound like that, so I asked her myself, "What's with the accent?" This is how you talk. I don't talk any type of way. That's just that's that's the way it is, yeah. Yeah, like a lot of people will be thinking like, oh, this is a fake accent, but like. Really, if you come to Atlanta, like, everybody talks like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, come on, bro, you know how to talk proper, bro. You was a gothy. You got picked on in middle school, bro. You was a goth, my nigga. Vicky attended Marietta High School for her junior year, but ended up dropping out to be homeschooled. She states that she got bad grades overall, but did enjoy some classes, including math. She also picked up a job as a hostess at a local restaurant, but quit, stating that she didn't like to be told what to do. Now it doesn't seem like Vicky really needed the money though. Her dad hooked her up with her own car. What kind of car you got? I got a Nissan, uh, I like 2016 Altima. Nice. She didn't take dance classes or participate in any sports. To occupy her time, she got heavily involved in social media. She looks up to Cardi B and hopes to become a rapper herself. But she might need to work on that a little bit. Now it's likely she also saw the attention Danielle Bergoli found online in 2017 and had the idea of stealing some of that limelight. Vicky's first big hit online was a video she filmed with her baby daddy, Pappy JJ. I'd show you a clip of Pappy JJ's Instagram account has been disabled due to violating terms of use. In the video, Vicky uttered the N-word, and this brought a ton of attention to both the video and to Vicky. And it really all started with the boyfriend on social media I had. His name was Poppy JJ, and in the video I said and that kind of blew up. The views translated over to Vicky's Whoa Vicky Instagram account, so she continued to pump out more videos to appeal to her new audience. Cheers to being rich. Oh, to be rich. We are rich. You are, oh, you are rich. Well, congratulations. We're, we're all rich. <laughs> As her numbers began to climb, she caught the attention of Cash Me Outside, who didn't like the way Vicky was stepping up. Of course, when getting called out, well, Vicky, being from Zone 6, she couldn't help but reply. You, you ain't mixed like me, bitch. You, you white trash. That, that, that's why your mama getting sued by a credit card company, and that's why Malik or NBA don't even watch your stupid ass. So I asked Vicky to go into more detail about the fight between her and Cash Me Outside, and here's what she had to say. It all started with Matt Lou, you girl, Matt Lou. Matt Lou? She's like a year old girl. Okay. Me and Matt Lou had beef over my baby daddy, Poppy JJ, because she was, kept on trying to deal with him or whatever, and then so me and Malu had beef, and then Danielle and Malu were friends at the time. Danielle DM me and then saying she was gonna beat me up, did it raw, come to LA so she can beat me up. And so that's how that started, and then and then I was with a guy that she liked, but it wasn't even like that, like we were just hanging out. And we, but we were hanging out with a bunch of people, so like it wasn't just us hanging out. So, so she got mad, and then like when I when I got to LA, she snatched at me and she was like, "Let's hang it out. You seem cool and stuff." And then I'm like, "What was this?" And then like so now we feel kind of decent, but like I still don't like her. As of now, well, Vicky is working towards getting her Instagram verified so she can make her account public once again. Her plan from there? Well, it's global domination. She's been enjoying her summer off of being homeschooled, traveling. She's also been buying a bunch of grills and making online content. Her dad hopes that she will go to college, but she wants to become big enough online that she can make it to LA and make it big in entertainment. Now I got a feeling she might need to share with the world her Ancestry.com results before any of this happens. I asked Vicky all about this. you plan on releasing it? Um, soon. Yeah? Yeah. So if you want to find out the results about all this, you're going to have to wait till she goes on the Dr. Phil show or the Maury Povid show or posts a video to YouTube. So you should go and subscribe to her channel, also her on Instagram, and uh, give me a like on Instagram while you're there. My name is Mike McCrath. Thanks for checking out this video. That's most of the story because this is before they're famous. I messed up the intro. <clears throat> I think I just swallowed a big June bug. Anyway, see you guys in another video. Boom! She used to have feet fetishes, bro. She used to have feet fetishes, my nigga. She used to make me lick her feet, bro. I know this sound crazy. She used to make me lick her feet, literally, bro. She she rich, bro. What you mean? She got her own guap. She got her own money, my nigga. Like, no, that's 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 a dead question.
Do you want to marry her? Do I want to marry her? I don't know. I, I, I mean, that's a great question.